We launched the program in 1999, saw digital technologies on the forefront, knew that the computer wasn't going to go away. And we were all these kinds of people who could learn what we were learning in our own domain and then take this new thing and dare to put it together. There was a lot of resistance and we kind of saw something in the future and decided to be the kind of person who would keep going anyway. In being at the nexus of arts and engineering to understanding how we experience the world um, interactively and uh, to designing new technologies that can uh, facilitate that in new ways. To tackle the grand challenges of the field and it's not always uh, the easiest path we're trying to take because we are all the time redefining what the field is and the field is, you know, changing. We're in a unique position uh, to take influences from art, from science, from media, from technology, from all the components that go into media, arts and technology. To look at media as something that's um, perhaps not disembodied or not tied to particular sensory modalities, but begins to blend um, with everything physical in the world. Working with our scientists to be able to understand their concerns of the data that they need to visualize and sonify makes an incredible partnership for us. We can try to help them find new discoveries, but we certainly will make beautiful art out of the mathematical um, models that they give us. This kind of understanding of transdisciplinarity as a vector, as a direction, is uh, extremely fruitful, I think, for everybody. The end of year show is a, is a great focal point for this community. Um, it, it is an incredibly concentrated event, and the energy is palpable. It becomes a big part of who we are to work toward this, this goal that's a showcase of, uh, of our capabilities. I find it uh, extremely valuable for, as an experience for the students, but also it's a very important way that the program communicates its vision to the outside world. The Invisible Machine is this uh, interstitial space. How can we use technology to see what we can't see? How do we make the invisible visible. We have to materialize the material, we have to create experiences around this invisibility. To bring those things that um, one cannot see and one cannot hear into our domain of being able to see, to hear and feel and touch them. So will we eventually get to the point of where the virtual and the material will be so close that you won't be able to see a, a difference in that?